world's most highly trained firefighters races to save lives. Their tools, an arsenal of advanced technology. Firefighting robots. High-powered water cannons. Mobile mash units and sophisticated life-detecting devices. Tokyo's elite firefighters will take on Japan's biggest disasters. Catastrophic earthquakes, deadly fires, and chemical attacks. But are they ready for the big one? Can they handle what's coming? It is no secret that Tokyo is long overdue for a big one. The Tokyo Fire Department conducts earthquake simulations to prepare for a major quake. This is Hyper Rescue, an elite unit of the Tokyo Fire Department, created to combat large-scale disasters. Hyper Rescue was formed in the aftermath of an earthquake that shocked the nation. Early in the morning, just before dawn, without warning or detection, the island of Japan is rocked by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. The epicenter just... Debris covers the roadway, and rescue workers lose precious time getting to the site. They search for victims in piles of rubble that were once homes. More than a thousand are missing. Fabiscopes are used to search the collapsed structures. They are remotely operated snake-like video cameras with highly sensitive microphones. They can both look and listen for trapped victims. Most of the work is done with sheer muscle power. Gear in silence. Yes, it's true. We rescued two people in the fire. Unfortunately, one of them died. So we sprinkle salt to pay respect and purify their souls. The other one is still clinging to life. We sprinkle salt, hoping that this person will stay alive. It's really hard to see people die. But we work as professionals to save people's lives. We can only think about saving as many people as we can. So when I see people die, I promise myself to work and train harder so nobody has to die. But there is little time to grieve. The alarm sounds. And the Adachi crew is off to fight another fire. <laughs> 